Hey guys, this is Jeff with JPA Photography and today I wanted to talk about affordable camera lenses for DSLRs because um, a lot of beginner photographers they have the kit lenses and they want to step up from them because um, as, as we all know kit lenses are not the best they're very functional and great to begin with but they don't offer the best quality and performance so um, a lot of us are on a budget because uh, photography is a very expensive hobby as you will find out so um, my suggestions for lenses to step up from from say you have the 18 to 55 millimeter lens the kit lens of kit lenses and um, you want to step up in quality and performance without um, really overspending your budget so um, the first lens that I purchased um, after my kit 18 to 55 millimeter lens was the uh, Nikon 35 millimeter lens um, this is really the what I call the most bang for your buck lens that you're going to get in photography um, as well as the Nikon 50 millimeter now if you are a Canon shooter uh, they make the 50 millimeter 1.8 as well but they do not make a 35 millimeter so I'm um, sorry for Canon shooters out there um, but Nikon offers a 35 millimeter and I really like this lens because the quality of it is, um, you, you can't beat it for the price. Uh, the, the Nikon 35mm runs about $200 and the sharpness of the images that you get with it are just unbelievable. They really uh, compete with pro lenses out there and uh, it also has a very large aperture of 1.8 so it's also fantastic at, uh, for nighttime photography which is another reason why I bought this lens. And, uh, this is probably, I would have to say, the best money that I've spent on photography because 200 bucks for a lens like this, you cannot beat it. Now the 50mm, um, these are both prime lenses, meaning that they do not zoom. Um, so this is 35mm and that's what you get. And that's one of the drawbacks of it is you do have to move your feet to zoom. But um, if you're shooting portraits or buildings or landscapes, um, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, it just depends what you're really looking to do with photography and if this lens is right for you or not. Now if you want to get a little bit closer in, a lot of people like the 50mm lens and it's also a very good lens. That lens is also offered in the 50mm 1.4 aperture, um, even larger. It, it is a little bit better quality, although um, the 50mm 1.8 is also very good quality the same as the 35mm 1.8. So, um, if you're on a budget with photography and you're looking to upgrade from the kit lenses, I really highly suggest going and looking at a prime lens because they're very inexpensive. The quality that you get from these images is absolutely unmatched by any other kit lens out there. And this is not a kit lens. And also they are um, great in low light. So you don't get the zoom but you get everything else and it fits your budget so uh, if you're looking for something like that this may be right for you